Good morning. I'm looking very fancy, fancy in this dress. <laughs> God, I love a good structured shoulder. This looks fabulous. Love it. I thought I'd just vlog for the f uh, next few days. I've got a few things on and then Alex is going to be going away and leaving me alone. So I thought it'd be <laughs> a nice, easy time to kind of to get some vlog vlog content in the house of me doing my thing um so i'm just getting ready today i'm going to leeds today actually I'm going to leeds so i'm just finding a bra i'm going to leeds for a nars masterclass. so i thought i'd bring you along for a little bit of that um to show you everything that i'm doing i also have never been oh no i have been to leeds a long time ago for a night out when i was student aged and my cousin currently lives there, so I'm kind of slightly hoping that she just happens to turn up and surprise me, but she'll be at work, never mind. I'm just gonna go put on some makeup, I think, to start off my day. Got myself a new iPhone, very excited about it, got them yesterday. So um, I'm gonna play around with that today. And I've also got some new makeup, some Fenty Beauty makeup that I have always wanted. This highlight and just never managed to get around to picking it up, so I'm looking forward to that. Pro filter, mattifying primer, and a brow pencil. So I'm gonna try that out. But I'm gonna start off with my good old Moisture Matte Illumier in the shade Sand. Yay! Find the best spot to put your camera. So this is how my skin looks whenever I put on the Illumier. It's, so it's an SPF, but then it's got a little bit of tint to it. So it just adds a tiny bit of kind of complexion enhancer, I suppose, you know, just kind of um, evens everything out a little bit. So most days I just wear that. And then I'll add some Lumine concealer to it. And I usually just add it under my eyes like this. Maybe a touch here and a touch here, especially I'm trying to cover that spot at the moment. And then um, I'll either use a brush on my hands just to blend it in. And it's, that's kind of it for my skin. After that, I just do a little bit of bronze, um, the contour, some highlight, a little bit of eyeshadow, like, oh, the door. My sign arrived for my office, my fro sign. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for my skin. I've um, I've cut down the time I take to do my makeup these days by about a third. I used to spend maybe a good hour, probably a day, doing makeup. And especially on days where I'm um, doing something a little bit more, if I'm going to an event or whatever, I'll spend a little even longer on it because I like to kind of take my time and enjoy that because it's more therapeutic. But now, genuinely usually take probably 15, 20 minutes at most now, thankfully, because I'd rather have more time in bed, to be quite honest with you. Honestly, this concealer is one of the best things I ever found. It kind of, for me, I just put it on in the places I want and then I'll use the rest of whatever's on the brush on my hands and dab it all the rest dab it around the rest of my face and just use that almost as a kind of foundation and it works for me i mean it's lovely and fresh so that's kind of me every single day apart from pretty much i will always add some nars well it depends how dark my circles are today they're not too bad because i've just put on a fresh layer of tan so today i think i might go without some but yeah you shall add a little bit of this and I've just realised I actually don't need to do my makeup today because I'm having my, my makeup done by now, so I don't even need to really do anything. But this is this is good. I'm glad I've just realised now because this is perfect. I've got my SPF on, which I needed anyway, and I've only put a bit of concealer on, so that's perfect. I'll probably just just for the sake of appearances, I'll probably just brush through my brows a little bit because no doubt when I get to the masterclass, I'll take this off and then they'll re-moisturise my face. And we'll go from there, which will be nice. I'll come home with a lovely face full of makeup. So a little bit of brows on. I will pump up my lashes a little bit. I'm so desperate for an LVL lash lift. I haven't had one since before my wedding, a few days before the wedding. So it's been a couple of weeks. Well, it's nearly five weeks now. It's the perfect time that I need. And that's it. I'll do that. And all I'll do now, I'll just, um, I'm just going to curl my hair. I'm going to put it into my little curly curly. I've been really enjoying just doing really small little toozled curls recently, toozled waves. So I'm just going to do that and get that done. <laughs> okay, my hair is done. I'm just really enjoying this very kind of messy, grungy, toozled thing. And all I'm pretty much doing to get this is taking much smaller pieces of, of hair, wrapping them, pulling them out when I've done them so they don't go super tight. So I just pull them so that the cold air kind of cools them longer. That makes any sense. It makes any sense at all. Um, because it's going to be quite chilly outside and I, you probably know I'm not a fan of tights. I never really wear tights. Just, they're not my thing. So instead, I was going to go bare-legged and decided I'm going to go for my boots instead. 
So I'll be nice and toasty. I need to put some socks on actually. I'll put some socks on with it so they're even more comfortable. Adore this dress. Adoring this dress so much. These shoulder pads and the structure is so lovely. So I am all ready pretty much for today. Just gonna put on a splash of puff foam. What shall I put on? Uh, what shall I put on today? I've got so many amazing parfums in my repertoire. I kind of saw the other day, because I've done quite a few beautiful perfume adverts recently for um, Lancome, Ferragamo, um, and one or two others. And someone's like, oh, you talk about so many perfumes. I'm like, yeah, but that's because I wear lots of different perfumes every day. And I'm not just going to choose one and then be like, oh, no, I can't promote any others. Because, you know, so many perfumes are beautiful. At the end of the day, I just won't ever talk about perfume that isn't nice. And it's so nice when I see the comments from people that are like, every single thing you tell us about is actually amazing. So I'm like... Thank you. That is the amazing feedback that I always hope for. So I'm so pleased. I didn't even show you then. I've just put on my Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. Well, yeah, like I said, I love a lot of perfumes, but if you probably asked me what is your ride or die, like the thing that you would buy over and over and over regardless of price, that's this. All of this is such a mess. <laughs> as soon as this room gets done, I can like properly start to move these books somewhere else and sort everything out and this room just is a bit of a, a dumping ground for all of my bits. So I need to sort this out really. I might have a bit of a tidy this weekend when Alex is away maybe. Okay, I'm all snuggly snuggly warm. I've turned my Duradarel coat the other way around. I think this is mainly the way it's meant to be intended so it's got kind of like the suede and then this little bit of shearling on the collars. So I've just put it this way around and it kind of matches with my booties so now I'm kind of all, I'm all kitted out. So it was quite, a, it was kind of cold yesterday in London and seeing as I've gone up to Leeds which is even more north it's always good to be warmer in the north. I know this very very well. <laughs> Alex is also off up north to the Lake District for a little um, friends weekend which is why I'm going to be on my own. I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm just going to probably do a big spring clean. Spring clean? Autumn clean? <laughs> Autumn clean and just chill. Um, and I might do a little bit of a clothing clear up, tidy up, maybe look through some new outfits, maybe try on some new outfits. Maybe that's what I'll do with you guys. Let's see. <laughs> Senior makeup artist of the NARS and Victoria McGrath, otherwise known as In The Fro. So, uh, the ladies will be talking to you about some backstage secrets and answering your questions as we go. My question is for both of you, and um, what are your thoughts on double cleansing? I, well, so, so what I usually do most nights is I'll take off my eye makeup, and then whatever's left on my pad that I've taken off my eye makeup with, I'll then go over my entire face. I'll then go over my entire face to take off the majority of like the oily makeup and then I'll cleanse again fully to like really get in there and on a day when I feel like I've had lots of makeup, like a lot of makeup on, I'll also use like an exfoliating, not an exfoliating pad but like um, almost like a face cloth and just to take it all off with a bit of like lukewarm water, I, that's what I like and then I'll use a toner and then I'll use all my other steps. So I'm just wiggling that into the root. Morning! I don't know how much Briny managed to film yesterday of my NARS Leeds masterclass, but it was just a really, really nice day. Went all the way to Leeds, literally did like an hour masterclass. Um, lovely Rachel put a beautiful face of makeup on me from NARS, and then I came all the way home. So it was just a really, really lovely day. Today I'm doing the same all again, this time in London, Oxford Street, John Lewis. So it's a little bit easier for me to get there at least. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go get a taxi to the station, um, get over there, then spending the rest of the day on my own. So I'm gonna come straight back home and I'm probably gonna do some tidying and cleaning up. Um, and then I think I'm seeing Lydia tomorrow for some brunch, which will be really, really nice. So anyway, need to get this taxi and uh, get on for the day. Well, just got back from having my makeup done once again by Nars and one of their head makeup artists Clayton this time. Feeling much nicer now than when I actually left earlier. <laughs> Love it. Looks so glowy. Um, just been dropped off so um, I am absolutely ravenous. I've not eaten yet and it's about half past three so I'm gonna make myself some big like a big bowl of pasta yeah and just chill out for the afternoon. However I just got just got a new book in the mail that I'm looking forward to, so I might sit down and read this later. 
literally my uh, my good friend Kyle Galvin messaged me about this book and said I need to get it so this one Dana Thomas Fashionopolis the price of fast fashion and the future of clothes thought it could be a really really interesting read so I have bought this in the hopes of inspiring myself challenging myself a little bit and being a much more much more informed so i'm going to give that a read today and otherwise i'm going to do some tidying some cleaning and some chilling out i'm looking forward to it good morning guys i had a slightly less well actually no i did have a productive night last night i was about to say i wasn't very productive but actually i did a lot of cleaning i cleaned and cleaned and cleaned i was going to film and I said I ended up cleaning and maybe I just needed to like switch off my brain and that's why I think so yeah I just had a bath I cleaned I chilled so it was really really nice but today's Sunday Alex still isn't back but me and Lydia are gonna take a bit of a chip out to it's not nearby it's quite a bit far out but it's like a, a restaurant an Italian restaurant that Lydia keeps telling me about is amazing. So we're gonna have a little bit of a brunch date, which would be so nice. So I've, I've actually got myself ready for once, which is fabulous. Um, I've got my uh, knit on that I wear pretty much every single day now, <laughs> I love it. And my Wrangler jeans, because I just love the fit. I'm gonna go for some slight chunky black boots and my new teddy coat. It's looking so nice in here now. I'm really, really pleased with this at the moment. I think as soon as I get my my perfect faux foliage here in very autumnal shades, this is going to be perfect. A lovely rug. And I'm also thinking for this wall here, just a lovely cabinet to put drinks in. Like a little drinks cabinet would be great. This is a gorgeous wedding gift we just got uh, from a friend of ours. And they're all different V&A covers for Victoria and Alex, obviously Victoria and Albert, but such a really, um, really, really thoughtful gift from James, so thank you. Yeah, but I'm really, really becoming happy with this room now. It's starting to look really sweet. And I'm also, for the heat, because I know, I know a lot of you guys often when I show this room say, do you have enough floor heating? What are you doing about the coldness in winter, which, which does worry me. But very soon we're gonna be having a radiator just here. Um, I'm going for like a gold brass radiator there and in the same place it's called Bisque that I found online they do these beautiful radiators aluminium because I was looking at cast iron but I found these other ones that look really really gorgeous but they also do electric radiators and I know a lot of you will be like oh god electric radiators will be so expensive but we're just going to literally have one for any days we're having dinner parties and times we need it to be a bit warmer in here it is there as the option It'll fit in with the colour schemes, you know, and we'll just make sure that we... In fact, I'm pretty sure they're smart ones, actually, and you can turn them on and off on timers, which would be perfecto. So we're hopefully going to have, like, a little radiator in here as well, which I think will work really quite well. So, yeah, I'm really quite happy with this room now. It's looking really nice. In fact, all of this room is looking... Oh, let's put some lids. All of the kitchen now is looking rather lovely. Um, I've just had such a nice nice day it's been wonderful me and Lids have just been out me and Lydia we've been out for a girly day we went out for some really really delicious Italian lunch then we went to a really cool um store called Zoo House and I bought loads of things for lounge and then we've just been to a local garden center and I've bought some plants I can get putting in the lounge I thought I would bring you in here and let's style it up together, shall we? Seeing as you've seen the rest of the lounge coming together, we might as well do a little bit more. i take Keanu back and put Keanu somewhere else. <laughs> Instead, I just got these white pots from the garden centre. They're just a bit, a little bit ripped on here. That's going to show you. And I've got an enormous piece of lily. That's going to sit in there. Obviously, I'll properly plot it. Pot it. Oh, that's so much nicer. It just needed some, um, it just really needed some elevation. Up that wall there, just so it's a little bit bigger. So that's great. Then I also bought this plant. Now, where am I gonna put that? So I bought the same pot again, so it's all matchy. And then I got some other lovely little bits. So this, 
my god because I have a coffee table on the way from H&M. She'll be arriving hopefully tomorrow. And this, although that's a marble top, this is an Agate top, but the colours are kind of similar. So I thought this could make a really nice tray for on top of the poof or the buffet, as Lydia calls it, which is so cute. I'm gonna put that there. And in fact, on top of it, could look really nice. I got these candles. I've got two of these beautiful red candles to match the colour scheme in here. So maybe these could look, could look kind of nice actually sat on here. Yeah, at least one of them could sit there and then the other one could move up here. Could go down here, perhaps. It's kind of nice, works well with the silvery doors. We are at Vista Village. Yeah. <laughs> Finally come to Bissa Village. We've been to this for ages, haven't we? Been a while. Been Apparently a while. They're looking for a valet parking. Oh, I think it's up here, isn't it, where the um, that beautiful apartment thing is? Just if you remember, can you remember? No, I've only been here once. The I last time I came here was when we were looking for houses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, valet parking up here on the left. So hopefully Susie's going to be here today. Maybe Lydia, but I think at least Susie. And Susie's already in the shops. We're going, is she? Yeah, she's shopping. Is that what she said? Mm. What's she like? Yeah, there's a special event on today. Um, Bissa Village and the British Fashion Council are doing... Um, Fashion. Are doing a bit of a talk and there's a bit of a lunch on. And... Okay, made it to Bissa Village. Me and Alex, like I said, me and Alex have been meaning to come here for ages for like a little shopping trip. So this was a perfect excuse. Susie's here. We're also having a lovely lunch. Um, it's just a really lovely event. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a shopping trip video with you guys. Also, outfit of the day. I got some new things, guys. Oh, Fendi pants. I like Fendi riding pants with this really cool Fendi strip down them. Then I've gone for the animal print boots, my Aquazura, and I'm just. You might remember I have these in black and they're like my most worn boots ever. So I went for the animal print. And then I've got my uh, Gerard Durrell, Gerard Durrell coat on. This time with the suede and the shearling. Because it's completely reversible, which I love. And then my Archival, I think it's Archival, um, shirt on underneath. So, and as always, my Bare Minerals Peony lipstick. I went, yesterday, I went to Debenhams just to buy some more of this because I'd run out and I was like, in my favourite lipstick right now. So, that is what. And also, my lashes, no mascara yet, but just beautifully curled lashes. Love it. I love seeing this. Makes me really happy. <laughs> hey, Sue. Looking fabulous, as always. <laughs> So we have this really lovely, ooh, oh sorry they want to. <laughs> got this really lovely lunch in here. So the idea is, um, this, this is a pop up at Bista Village and it's got 30 British designers that you won't find anywhere else at Bista. So it's like a really special pop up, open for the next 20 days. So definitely worth coming along if you want to kind of shop some amazing British designers. So, oh we've got Mother of Pearl here, Mother of Pearl, that's Kirkwood. Amazing. Born in the Sun. Camilla Elphick. These are very, very nice. These are gorgeous. I love those. They're nice. Beautiful. And then we've got Windsor, London. Mm. It's really cool, isn't it? Preen. This is such a cool idea. So, this has all been set up by the British Fashion Council with Vista. Raseel, wow, that's cool. I like that. It's very you. Very, very me, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. I love that. How much is this one? Three fifteen. Is it? Yeah. Why did I say that? No. How amazing is this blue one? I love, I love this brand. Look at this pink one. Yeah. I Isn't it just amazing? Oh, and this pink like, yeah. yeah. So oh, cool. that's great. <gasps> we found cushions by Holly Fulton. And if you remember, I did a really fantastic interview with Holly um, all about how she became a designer. And she was talking about her interiors, do you remember? Yeah. So this must be part of it. They are so great. I just don't have any orange rooms. Or blue rooms. I really like the orange. Yeah, I like both a lot. Yeah. A new space will go in there. 
Yeah, yeah maybe it could actually. Or like some dark. I found a dog and I'm so happy about it. Oh! I just saw this pillow and I'm absolutely in love with it. So it's a huge Holly Fulton cushion. £108. It is amazing. I'm thinking this might be just perfect in the middle bedroom at home. Oh, I think I might have to. I also just really want to support Holly because I think she's amazing. And this is just such a cool statement cushion. So I think I might just have to go for it. I really, really like this jacket. So it's a Raseel jacket. I really like these shapes. It feels kind of um, a bit of a boyfriend colour with the, the sleeves. It feels quite boxy. But I really like it. I think if it's nicely steamed, it could look kind of cool just draped over. I kind of like it with this outfit though, actually. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think I've got some amazing goodie bag treats. It's a Rituals candle. Big, big fan of Rituals. We've got this gorgeous coffee table book. And... Donut. Donut time. Donut. Oh my god. Have you seen this side, Alex? Hey. It's cookie dough and brownies. Um, oh my god. Get off. <laughs> and you got the same? Oh my god, that looks insane. <laughs> a little gift voucher from Vista, so we can just treat ourselves to something inside of here. So, very, very lovely. They're quite cute. I like them. I love these bits. These are so great. They're half price. <laughs> They're down to 490. And then the kind of thing, I'm pretty sure that I looked at these in the store. These are so great. So I've been deliberating over these two pairs of boots. One is calf, one is ankle. And I love them both so much that I can't decide. And they're both like 50% off. So I'll be honest with you guys, I think I'm going to buy both of these. I really like them. You've got some bits. Well, that kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah. So tell everyone what you got. Um, I went to Burberry, which oh, yeah. is a very, very good idea because the price of things in there is it's like literally half price on everything. I mean, well, most of the shops are. I mean, they're outlet. Yeah. You know, it's, it's... <laughs> I know that, but it's just it's Burberry, isn't it? And then you you expect it to be really, really expensive, and it's. Yeah, much more affordable. Yeah. And then it's I went gorgeous, to, the coat you got. Yeah, I love it. Great love coat. It. And then I went to All Saints and bought two jumpers. Including the one you're wearing? Yeah. And a pair of like black chinos, but everything was 20% off the already deducted price anyway. Bargain. So I've got some absolute steals in there. Bargain. What did you get? So we, so we went to Dior. And I ended up getting both a pair of boots. A lot of people be like, that's ridiculous, but actually they were both very different. Well, first of all, the black boots, which I wear continuously. One were a shorter ankle and one were the calf length, which I wear with very, very different outfits. And I mean, they're black suede Dior boots, which I'll get use out of for the next like five years. So actually, um, they're like a really, really great purchase. And I got them for like it was like 700 quid for the two pairs when it should have been around 2000 plus so actually i've saved myself it's like 65 percent probably so beautiful houses. wow that house is unbelievable wow um yeah so actually i think really good investment boots actually so i'm really pleased with them um and then on the way back because we stopped back in at the bfc um the designer showcase and I've seen this really beautiful Raseel. Did you buy that? Yeah, the cream blazer. Sneaky. No, I said I was going by it. So I found a beautiful cream linen blazer from Raseel. Um and it was meant to be 750 and it was down to 310. So like 50 no, 60% off pretty much. And it's one of those that I can just throw on with everything, like with white a white tee and easy like like jeans. And then with my new black boots, that is going to be such a beautiful outfit. So, yeah, I'm super excited about those. So those are the three things I got. So, pretty great, right? We did all right today, I think. Really good. We need to go there more. It's such a cool day I was just going to ask you out. then, actually. So, because 
you couldn't go all the time because you'd have to wait for the stock to move, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd have to wait for a little bit of stock movement, I suppose. But how often do you think we can? But at the same time, we didn't really look in half the shops because we're going back home now, like, because I've got some work bits to do, or else we would stay a little bit longer. But there's so many, like, I would have looked, I would have looked in Sandro, in Acne, and then we met up in the farm shop, Soho House Farm Shop Cafe, yeah. and had some Please really delicious food. The third exit. So, yeah. So we're going home now, and then what's for dinner? What are we doing? I don't know. To be honest, now we've had a little bit of food, I'm not I that know, hungry, not but hungry we've got an Insta video we need to film. We're going to do that tonight. So I'd like to do that tonight, because it needs to be sent off soon. So if we can work on that tonight, then happy days. Yep. And then, because I've got a full day of meetings tomorrow in London to do, oh. so. From Vista. I have been chilling out on the couch honestly for probably about an hour and a half on my phone just doing random useless nothing and I thought I should really come upstairs and organize everything in this room because it's just got a little bit ridiculous. I'm currently waiting for my closet to go in upstairs so I'll have a lovely closet. So whilst that is on order I'm currently kind of housing everything in in this room, which is a spare room, and um, it's fine, but it just means that everything is kind of everywhere, and it is an absolute mess, and then I'm just kind of using it as like a bit of a dumping ground, and just sort of sticking things in here, so it just looks really messy, and there are um, clothes everywhere right now, so I thought, thought I'd kind of go through everything with you guys. I also don't know what to do about keeping this jacket or not it's like a really boxy levi's sherpa jacket i just got it on amazon fashion um they were very very kind and gave me a voucher to try out amazon fashion because i'll be honest i don't usually buy things at amazon <laughs> when it comes to fashion anyway so i was like okay cool so i picked a few things from levi's it's definitely one of my favorite brands that they have on there i think in the future they'll get a lot more brands or at least i hope so because i feel it needs a lot more brands to pad it out at the moment there aren't many brands in there that i particularly love apart from Wrangler and Levi's, which are kind of like jean denim favourites of mine. Anyway, so I thought I'd try out just a very like um, typical Sherpa jacket. I thought this one was pretty easy. I mean, Alex was like, would you wear that? And I'm like, well, yeah. Like, why wouldn't I? But now thinking about it, I just don't know how much, like I've got my Balenciaga one and I've got a few other denim jackets, just known with the Sherpa like faux shielding inside. So I don't know, let me know guys if you think it's a keeper or not. I don't know if I necessarily need this and I must admit at this point I get I get a guilty conscience when it comes to clothing that I know I'm not going to wear too much so I want to be better at that um right I thought I'd show you though a few bits and bobs that I have got I mean this is currently what I'm toying with I need to put all of this away into my closet this is just ridiculous. So I thought I'd kind of uh, do that with you guys instead. Right, I don't even, I literally just don't even really know where to start. Oof. Here, to be completely honest, I'm gonna put away my GHD curlers. Lots of you ask me what I do my hair with and it is this bad boy, the GHD Dry Zone Technology. And it's this like conical wand. It's like a bit fat, thicker one way. And yeah, conical, so that's my usual every day. Um, okay, a few bits to show you. So, just sent it Vista, I bought this blazer. I found it still online actually. So it was at Vista, obviously like outlet prices. So this was down to like 300 and 10 I think. It's a Reseal blazer and it is so awesome. Just as like a throw on jacket, that's what I bought it for. Rather than like a tight fitted blazer to wear all the time, more of kind of a bit of an oversized, a little bit of an oversized jacket feel. I love how boxy it is. But I have managed to find it online still, so I'll leave a link for you guys if you like it. But oh, it's just such a cool like cream linen. It is a beautiful fabric and I just love like the tortoise shell buttons. And it also looks fab done up as well. But it's just my kind of thing, so pleased with that. I'm gonna hang that up. Things I took off earlier. I've just been taking a picture downstairs. So I've just taken off 
So this is what I was wearing earlier today, a pair of Fendi, kind of like riding pants, just a black, a bit lycra-esque, not lycra, but a lot of elastane in these. And I love the Fendi logo all the way down each leg. Really, really fitted, very, very skinny. I went for the 34, I think, in these. Yeah, they're just kind of like a jegging, that's the kind of vibe, but but from Fendi. So huge fan of those. Um, they looked fab today, so I'm gonna get those into my wardrobe. Do I have any other pants? I still am a Cartney full leather trousers. Good if I actually did up my own trousers. Still McCartney, faux leather trousers are my probably my most worn pair of trousers ever. My kind of cost per wear from these has been huge and I can't tell you how many compliments I get on these. They these were the these were the trousers that when I first bought them I had to go back to the website and double check I hadn't actually bought leather trousers because I was blown away by the quality and I thought they were real leather and I thought there's absolutely no way. Even though I could see it so Stella McCartney, I did not believe these weren't real leather. They're amazing. I know Lydia's got these as well and she also swears by them. We both wear them continuously because they just look so flattering. They're a really fantastic pair of trousers. Uh, I'm just trying to find I'm trying to find all the trousers on here so I can pack them all away at the same time. And then another pair of trousers. I've mentioned these guys before, but these are a sustainable pair of Wranglers. I'm pretty sure with these, it's a new sustainable range that is not... I'm pretty sure that the water consumption when creating these jeans is extremely minimal. Hence why it's a new, like, sustainable collection. And these are some of my favourite jeans I've worn in years. The fit is fantastic. They just hug you beautifully. And they're a really, really high-waisted fit. So they just look so ultra flattering on the figure and they're really lovely not overly skinny not they're not like skin tight but they're the kind of skinny i like where it kind of sh shows the shape of your legs off and they look fab and i've got a feeling i've got another pair of trousers under here yeah in fact i've got two pairs of tra three pairs of trousers under here <laughs> oh yeah i was wearing these the other day my philip limbs i got these a couple of seasons ago in fact two or three seasons ago i got these in new york a pair of philip limb white trousers with this really cool rope belt. Again, they're just an epic pair of trousers and I love them. I will continue to wear them for seasons and seasons. I mentioned these in a previous haul I just did. These are my current Elliott jeans. Another jeans brand that I would highly recommend to you guys for fit and shape and just doing something a little more unique with the overall fit and look. Nice distressing to the bottom of each leg and just a really fantastic shape overall they just look quite cool on great with a pair of stilettos they just kind of hang off the legs a little bit more straight and another pair of current elliot jeans like i said big fan of these jeans and these in fact i wore these on my hendu i remember i wore these for like a night out we had because they're really fitted here and they're quite a lovely cropped crop leg i really like a crop jean these days because again they look fantastic with stilettos so right i think that's all of the trouser situation so i'll get these in the wardrobe i just found this beautiful dress i wanted to quickly show you um i was sent this today from realization pa what a beautiful little mini dress this is so pretty with the polka dot v-neck and a cute mini style it looked great with some over knee boots but on the back i have this dress i showed you this in my paris fashion week video but i just love the color of this it's like a sunshine yellow polka dot over a navy which i love anyway um and it's a midi style so i'm going to rock this so much more potentially with my new boots that i bought today and the way i wore it in paris was over the top of a bodysuit and i thought it was so cool i loved it i've got a couple of pair of shoes i need to put away i shall quickly show you so these are what i was wearing today so these are my black ones i've had two pairs of these now um, because the first pair I wore so much they got completely ruined and I couldn't not have them in my life. Um, but they're the Aquazura like sock boot almost, but a lot more sturdy than like for example the Balenciaga sock boots. I got those and they ripped because they're almost like wearing a pair of tights. Whereas these are just so sexy. It's just the um, the heel being such a stiletto heel it is a little bit more fragile, which you've got to be careful about. But anyway. I've got them in the animal print as I was wearing today and I got so many compliments on these just from wearing them today so I was really really pleased everyone seemed to really like them 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of filling inside these for keeping them here. But yeah, guys, if you're looking for a really kind of, really easy to wear boot that you can wear with jeans, especially like skinny jeans, or a fantastic midi dress, or even skirts, if you're wearing like a roll neck and a beautiful skirt and you want some like really cool shoes, these are honestly, I so recommend the sh shape and the comfort of these. I mean, I'm a massive fan of Aquadura anyway. So, right, let me get these in their place. That clean up mode is on full force. Um, the new Todd's, Albert Elba's Todd shoes. I mean, you guys probably see how much I wear these, the Todd's Gaminos, which are like driving shoes and they're amazing for driving. So Todd's have collaborated with Albert Elba's created these bad boys with a bit more of a platform they're so comfortable i would always recommend sizing a half size down by the way from your normal size i got a few new things actually from louisa via roma but they don't quite suit me and i'm really really gutted i mean a few of the things that i got from louisa via roma i've kept but there are a few things i'm definitely going to send back one of them includes this zimmerman shirt and you know how much i love zimmerman but I feel like this, I have something too similar. And I don't want to just get things for the sake of it. It is not my vibe these days. Honestly, I'm really... I know a lot of people are probably like, well, your consumption is crazy compared to some people. And I agree, my consumption of fashion is a lot higher than um, the average Joe. But um, that's also my career. But it's something I'm very much thinking about so don't worry it's not something that I'm flippant about and I'm like oh yeah well I'm a blogger so you know it's something I'm very much personally trying to deal with and think up ways to make personal changes and one of those is the fact that I feel so much guilt if I have if I buy something new and it's not going to work for me and it's not right then I am sending that back I don't want it in my space I want to make sure someone else can have that and make use of it so that a piece of fashion isn't going to waste anyway so I'm going to send this back but it's an absolutely beautiful Zimmerman shirt so if you're after a white shirt and you're after something Zimmerman and very kind of ethereal lightweight absolutely beautiful sort of larger oversized sleeves and lots of frilly frilly extra kind of roughly feminine touches on this i just have this in fact it's right here yeah this shirt i got a couple of weeks ago and i've i've worn it continuously actually since i got it and i absolutely love it and i prefer this and the fact that i prefer that and i've just bought this says to me that this needs to go back to a better home so I'm going to package this back up and return that to Louisa Aroma. Um, additionally, I also wanted to try out this coat, which I thought could be like really quite smart and sophisticated, and it is, and the quality is divine. This feels unreal. But again, I think, I mean, well, this outfit is very cool. It actually looks really cool with this. I can't even tell you how soft this is. Unbelievable softness beautiful it really looks great it's kind of like quite boxy and structured but i must admit that i feel i feel that i prefer the blazer i just bought to this so again if i'm preferring something else and this isn't kind of trumping something else then you know then it's worth going back to a better home so again i'm going to send this back but i mean i'll leave the link down below because that is a stunning jacket absolutely beautiful jacket and i just don't think it's quite my style yet and i bought another jacket this was this was the one i bought before i bought today's because i'm after a jacket just like this hence why i bought that other blazer and i prefer that one again so i'm going to send this one back but again it's a really beautiful oversized fit blazer like this is a 34 so it's meant to be really oversized and it's very cool on the right person to look fab and it'll look really chic it's isabel morant so it's just got that very cool parisian um slouchy look it's just not it's just not as perfect on me as the other blazer no oopsie going under in this time ow <laughs> i just literally want to show you this blazer properly so you can see it like the long length you see what i mean about the sleeves and the other size boxiness it's great, it's just not, yeah, it's just not as amazing as the other blazer. So that's why I'm gonna send this one back. But if you're after a white blazer, then uh, probably look no further than this bad boy because it's absolutely beautiful. I just really love the other one. This one's uh, more of a cotton feel. The other one is a linen. 
nicely wrap that up and send that back. I've got my bags here still. Elizabeth Scarlet and the London Chatter, my little velvet pouch. I'm gonna start making use of this ASAP. I just haven't had any time to kind of get things inside these, but I shall. They're just so cute, so cute, I love them. So I'm gonna put this in my bag area. I have this dress that was very kindly sent to me from, from the Bora Aksu team. It's one of their mini dresses and I don't have anything in this colour so I was quite intrigued although I must admit that looks like it might be a bit big for me mm, well this is a 40 hmm. I'll have to see this on because that's a 40 which says to me that's probably about size 10 so that's not going to fit so I'm going to have to try that and see how I get on with it actually I'm going to hang up my big jacket and I've also got my big Balenciaga uh, Sherpa jacket Okay, we're getting down a bit here. Um, I was also sent this very beautiful coat from Holland and Cooper. It's kind of like a cotton style trench, which is always kind of a staple style for the winter. What do you guys think? I mean, I could probably like tie this a little bit tighter, give it a bit more shape. I mean, it's actually really lovely, isn't it? It's a great shape, beautiful big, gold buttons, it's got this beautiful belt, I've actually just tied the belt rather than rather than properly tying it up. It's just got some really lovely details. And there's like buckles there's like buckles everywhere. And it's got a really great shape. So I feel if you're looking for quite a quite a sophisticated trench in a more woolly cotton in fact this is wool, it's definitely a wool. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, it's not like super duper soft, it's kind of quite woolly um, and textured, but it looks really quite expensive. Quite fond of this actually. Okay, we are kind of getting somewhere now. I'm moving through everything nicely. <laughs> There's so much that's sort of built up, it's got ridiculous. I'm just emptying out my Louis bag. A lot of you guys have asked me about this bag, it's a multi pochette bag, it is now out. I wouldn't be surprised if it's probably sold out though because I think people went a bit crazy about it. I remember I was in Paris for the week and I was walking around Gallery of Lafayette and we got stopped a number of times by people asking, is that in Louis Vuitton today? I need to get it. Um, so I've got a feeling that it was very um, highly desired. I love it. I haven't stopped wearing it. Pack that away. Um, I've just literally just done a tiny little clear out of stuff in my wardrobe which I'll most likely put on my Depop it's just things that I haven't worn a long time that I've um, bought so now and again I like to put things onto my Depop just to um, just to help you guys get things at a discounted rate if the things that I haven't even worn um, and I always give a percentage to a breast cancer charity as well so the most likely to be on there soon anyway so hanging up this beautiful dress that I wore at the start of the video it's a really lovely material actually and like for the price of it you'd think it was worth a lot more money so big fan of this equally I also bought this jumper and again this was so affordable and it looks just like the Dior jumper of the season um, and whilst you know I love Dior I saw this and thought you know what with it just being a jumper that's kind of on trend for the season I thought rather than investing a couple of like a thousand odd in a cashmere jumper I'd go for this one and wear it as like a really easy super easy casual jumper and I'm really glad in the wardrobe Ooh, my other my other Zimmerman top that I have been wearing and loving I showed you this recently that I picked up so again that's why I didn't feel like I needed to keep the other one that I bought to try because it's not I don't love it as much as I adore this Zimmerman top then my Givenchy jumper that I've had so much wear out of this is a really really great purchase um, I'm so thrilled that I got this actually, I adore this jumper um, and I've washed it a number of times actually now and it's come out perfectly, probably just needs a bit of an iron now to be honest but it is just still perfect after a wash which I'm worried about, uh, with obviously an expensive little crop jumper you don't want it to, to ruin it anyway so love it. Also this dress washed extremely well, I accidentally put this in the wash and it came out fine. <laughs> I saw it in the pile of things that have been washed and I was like, oh my god, 
yeah it's washed perfectly fine really beautiful i have this a little bit oversized and i really like it it would look great fitted as well but oversized it just feels a little bit more this gives it a bit more of a casual vibe i suppose it being oversized okay this bed is getting nicely cleared now um this this bag again this is from the albert elbaz um collection with uh with todd's just, it's very kind of classic Todd's feel. It's got this um, textured Todd's fabric. And then it's got the Gamino style studding. Not, not studding. I suppose, yeah, studding. Studding to each side so it looks a bit like the Gaminos. Um, it's just a really easy like, little shopper bag. So I've got this. And it also comes with a strap too. So I'm going to wear that tomorrow because I'm going to a Todd's event tomorrow. My favourite jumper of the season. I almost feel like I should buy this again if there's any other colours of it because I haven't stopped loving and wearing this. I've been wearing it non-stop. I was probably a little bit sick of me wearing it but it's just the most amazing jumper. It just feels so flattering on and it's so cosy comfy so I just haven't taken it off in complete honesty. Um, and then this jumper I picked up from some self-portrait. This is just like another chunky style knit with this it almost looks a bit like a snake winding its way down nice big chunky sleeves and the thing i really like about this is that the hemline has a lace trim all along the edge which i thought was a really lovely touch and it kind of matches my um the black play suit that you guys might remember it's like a tux play suit i've got it has this lace around the bottom so i thought this was rather cool and yes so I'm very much loving this and I'm going to keep it because I think I'm going to wear this a lot. It's just got something that makes it a little less casual in that lace detailing. And then Gymshark sent me a few bits. I'll be completely honest guys, I haven't worked out since July, maybe about the 16th. That was literally the last time I worked out. I have absolutely no motivation for it. Um, since the hen do, which was July 18th, I have literally just not wanted to work out. I've had absolutely no feeling of wanting to. And I was so good. I was doing so well on my bodyism. I was going like three, like five times a week, adoring every minute of that. But now that I've moved away from Notting Hill, <laughs> I'm no longer near there, it's very difficult for me to go. So I think I need a new routine. I need to find a really good gym class, fitness class that is near to like King's Crossway. So I can do some workouts every time I come into London on those days. And otherwise, as soon as we get a gym set up in the house, then I can work out from home. But until then, I have this beautiful gym wear that Gymshark have very kindly sent me and no motivation to use it, I must admit. But this is a gorgeous kind of mauvey grey. And they sent me the matching, the matching leggings to go with it. And they've also sent me a deeper kind of berry berry mauve I suppose it's almost like a dusky berry and the matching top and also this is so sweet it's like a little tank a little white tank so thank you Gymshark and as soon as I get my mojo back I'll be right in those another piece from Levi's and it is a blue shirt oh I don't know if I like that denim feature on the cuffs it's very 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 lightweight I just wanted something that was just very easy to tuck into like a pair of jeans let me try this on it's actually quite sweet just sort of tucked in it's that sort of uh, very kind of laid at the office vibe um, shirt somewhere kind of like a smart casual I suppose nothing too formal but kind of tucked quite nicely into a pair of trousers um, I'll be honest, I just don't know if I'm going to get enough wear out of this to make it worthwhile. So, yeah, I think I might send this back, to be honest, because I just don't think... I don't know. But yeah, I got this on Amazon um, Fashion again, so I'll leave a link down below if you do like it. But I just don't know how much I'm actually going to wear this, so I think I might send it back. Okay, guys, so my room is looking pretty much back to normal, thank goodness. Just put my top back on because I was walking around in the nud for a little bit. <laughs> um, just turn up a few bits. So, oh, what's that? Yes, my lipstick. Take that back in my bag. Um, last thing, just to show you, that's well, before I pack it away, are my new boots. So, these boots 
whilst it might seem a little bit crazy for some people for me to buy two of the same pair of boots. If you think that sometimes people buy the exact same boots twice because they love them that much and they know that when one kind of dies out they'll need another pair because they love it so much, this maybe makes sense a little more. But to, in my head these, these boots are entirely different types of boots but they're very classically Dior and for these to be in Bista Village obviously selling at 50% of the price of what they were in the store and I remember seeing these in the store and being like wow they're beautiful they're just quite obviously a Dior boot if you know the kind of comma heel of the Dior shoes then you'll know these are Dior and I thought these are so classic that I just felt I couldn't choose between the two different pairs so I went for the just over ankle boot, kind of mid calf boot, which is my kind of ankle boot anyway, as you guys know. I love this kind of boot. I have a lot in my collection. The reason why I probably went for these ones as well as the others is because my other Dior boots, my other black Dior boots, are completely battered now. I wore them for probably for the last time to the fashion show in Paris. And when I've brought them home now, the toe is split and they were a tall ankle boot like this different style they're more tight but they're ankle boot like this and i know how much i wore those and they're done now unfortunately i don't think they're fixable i'll maybe try to but i think they're not fixable so that's why i thought you know what i do actually feel like another pair of dior over ankle boots would not be a duplicate in my wardrobe because the others have unfortunately diseased so i did go for these they were originally 920 and they were down to 490 which is an insane price. So I got those and I know I'm gonna wear those. These, I honestly, I know I'm gonna wear these so, so much. So whilst it seems a little bit, well, it seems a little bit flippant to buy two, um, I know for a fact I'm gonna get so much wear out. And then, so then I went for the calf, almost a knee length version of the boot. So exact same style, the black suede with the sort of Dior comma heel, but these are the knee high. Quite lovely and tight as well around around the calf which I really really liked and it's just the perfect like pointed toe they're just such a me boot these were about these probably about 1200 and reduced to 640 and then I had a 10% off card because we were there visiting with Bista Village as part of the event they gave us a 10% off card and I was very kindly given the 250 pound voucher so it brought down the two pairs of boots to like £750 for two pairs of Dior boots when one pair alone would have been more than that in the store. So hopefully that kind of helps justify this why I've, I've bought two. Not that I feel I need to justify them because I've, I know I've made the right decision but just in case. So these are going to be wonderful with midi dresses especially. They will look fantastic. Um, same with longer skirts, sort of midi skirts will look great with these boots. Probably even mini dresses, mini skirts and beautiful like chunky tops, that kind of vibe. These will look absolutely amazing. And then these ones again easily will go with kind of longer than midi dresses, midi dresses as well as skirts but will look fantastic with jeans, crop jeans, more sort of tapered trousers. Oh, there's just so much I'm going to be able to wear these. These look fantastic with my Fendi trousers today. So, that is, um, that's kind of it for everything I bought today and my little kind of clear up of, because the reason I wanted to show you this clear up is because it's everything that I've been wearing constantly in the past few weeks and just keep dumping on my bed because I can't bother putting them away because I'm too busy. So, uh, yeah, that's why I thought it would be a good idea to show you this because it kind of shows you everything I'm wearing the most and the new in things that I'm putting away so I hope you've enjoyed it guys I just can't wait to get my closet so I'm properly set up and I've got my beautiful kind of background and everything is way organized like this room it's just a dumping ground and it's just I really hate it um, I'm waiting on some new bedside tables I've got some beautiful bedside tables coming with like marble tops and brass legs um, I have some new bedding to go on this bed and some throws so that will kind of change up the style in here I'm going to get a really cool mirror I think for over the bed and I'm going to move a few things out of here because at the moment it currently feels like this looks like our old flat in here it's got all of our old furniture in it so Alex doesn't like this room because he feels it's like the old 
the old flat and he wanted like a brand new which everything else is super spanky like really new but he's not as keen on this room because it kind of makes him feel like the old bedroom which it does but it's um the best place right now for all of my things i'm i mean extremely grateful for this this amount of room to be honest i'm not complaining i really like this room but i just i just keep kind of throwing things in here so as soon as my closet is in early december I'll be able to do some really lovely things around kind of December time and Vlogmas. I'll be doing Fromas again this year, I think, because I've been really, really enjoying doing the vlogs and showing you the renovations and whatnot. So I'll be doing Fromas, most likely about maybe three or four videos a week, potentially maybe three. I'll probably do three a week, up it from my usual two. And as soon as that closet in, I can do proper like sit down videos again and chat with you guys and properly like, you know, just like converse with you a little bit more. I've not been able to do that recently. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to do that again. So bear with me guys. I know some of you really like my more sit down videos where I sort of chat with you a bit more. A lot of you prefer my vlogs and you like to see the kind of house renovation stuff, which I personally love watching too, which is why I'm really kind of ramping that up at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love your feedback down below in the comments as to um, what you're loving and watching the most, what maybe you're expecting from Froma, just anything that you want to give me any feedback on. And to be honest, I'd also love any feedback you've got on my Instagram because I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut at the moment. I've been loving the wedding content. I've been kind of spamming on the wedding content because I just love it because a lot of you guys seem to be really enjoying the wedding pictures. Yeah, I just feel like if it's not a wedding photo then my photos aren't loved as much and I mean that's just the way the Instagram, Instagram is these days but I would just love to hear your opinions on what you do and do it like on my Instagram, what you want to see more of, etc. be great. Thank you guys. If you don't follow me already, it's just in the fro on Instagram. And if you don't subscribe to this channel, it would be amazing if you subscribe. So please do hit subscribe and press the little bell button and it'll notify, it'll notify you when I've posted. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this is quite a long one in the end, but um, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>